just want to be available. We just want to be on the flight. In business class. Please, please, please. Hey, I'm Kara, and this is my husband, Nate. We've been traveling the world full time for the last three and a half years, and airports are pretty much our second home. This week, we've been back in Nashville, Tennessee for our cousin's wedding. And now it's time to hit the road again. We are those weird people who really enjoy the whole flying experience. Whether we are flying in economy class, business, or just hanging out in an airport lounge, we love it all. This video is especially exciting, and you'll see why. It has been an awesome week at home with friends and family, but we had a 3.30 a.m. wake-up call this morning, and we're back on the road. Today we are doing something that we have never done before, thanks to our friend who works for United Airlines. She has bestowed upon us the greatest gift <laughs> we could ever receive from her, standby perks. That basically means if there's any space available on the airplane, then we get to get in that seat for an extremely low price. So today's goal is to fly as far as possible in business class. <laughs> So the thing about flying standby is that nothing is guaranteed. Flying standby as a friend of somebody who works at an airline pretty much means that you're at the bottom of the barrel and you will be the last person to get on the plane. So we're hoping to fly business class today, but at the same time, we could just end up stuck in the airport. It'll be an adventure. Well, we'll go we'll see you later. We'll see you the Airbus A320 is equipped with four exit doors, two on each side of the aircraft. If the door is opened in an emergency, a slide will automatically. Okay, not only did we get on this flight, but we're in business class. I cannot believe it. There were only four seats available in business class, and we got two of them. Needless to say, we are very excited about the next four and a half hours to San Francisco. We love flying in general, but anytime we get to fly a business class, we just can't contain our excitement. Genius! We're gonna be so spoiled. On behalf of United and the Star Alliance, thanks again for joining us today. We enjoyed serving you. Welcome to San Francisco. Good morning. This is where things could get fun. So the reason that we chose to fly our first standby flight here is because San Francisco has the most flights to Asia, which is where we're hoping to go today for two reasons. One, it's a really long business class flight, and two, we love Asia. So I spent last night making a spreadsheet of all of the flights that are gonna go from here to Asia, and it's looking like our best option is gonna be the 445 flight to San Francisco, which means that we have a seven hour layover here in the airport. So even though we're flying business class, we don't get access to the lounge like most normal business class passengers would because we're flying standby. But luckily we both signed up for this United card a couple years ago and every year they send us two free lounge passes, which we were able to redeem today to spend a couple hours in this lounge. It has pretty good snacks, strong coffee, comfy chairs, plugs to charge our computers, free drinks, everything you would expect from a lounge in an airport. However, the Centurion Lounge is better because For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. The food here, it is so good in all the Centurion lounges, and they have the best chocolate chip cookies. Plus, there is free wine tasting in an airport lounge. Crazy is that? So both of these lounges are really good, but this one is definitely our favorite. And the best part is, we didn't have to pay to get into this one either. Thanks to the plastic card. Now we get to enjoy this lounge for a few hours. <laughs> Who are we? 
Okay, we are leaving the lounge a full 30 minutes before we even have to start boarding. We're still figuring out this whole standby thing, so we didn't want to like be running up to the gate as soon as it was time to board. Maybe they had called our names or whatever. We just want to be available. We just want to be on the flight. In business class, please, please. When we left the lounge, there were still 14 seats available in business class, so I'm feeling really good about our chances right now. I feel like something absolutely crazy would have to happen for us not to get on. Try not to get my hopes up. <laughs> I hopes spent are not up. a lot of time online looking for the flights that had the most available business class seats, and that's why I picked this flight, so hopefully it works out. We're kind of going to Seoul because we want to go back to Seoul, and then we're kind of going to Seoul because we wanted to fly business class. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I said I wasn't getting my hopes up, but they're really, really up. They're paging us. We're on the standby list, but we don't have a little check mark like everybody else's name. Thank you so much. It happened. I'm holding two business class tickets to Seoul, South Korea. We were just about to film our excitement when Nate realized that he left our lens in the bathroom all the way back at the Centurion Lounge, which is quite the hike away. So, I'm celebrating alone. We're going to South Korea in business class. I cannot believe this is happening. <laughs> oh, I don't know how many times I can get lucky. I feel like this happens way too often. Did you tell him we got the tickets? I feel like that kind of dampened the excitement there for a minute. But now everything's good. And we're going to Seoul with our zoom lens and in business class. This is home for the next 12 hours. Not only were we lucky enough to get business class, but we are also flying on the new Polaris product. The gate agent who gave us our tickets told us how jealous she was because she hasn't even been able to fly yet. And we're on here for the next 12 hours. We already ordered our dinner. Super private. And if Nate starts snoring, I 
I just press this little button. I know. You can probably still hear this. to get on and the most sad to leave. <laughs> Our bodies are so confused. We've slept <laughs> for the last like seven hours and it's 7.30 a.m. at home, but it's 9.30 p.m. here. We are gonna be so messed up. We're I like, just yeah, we'll, an omelet. <laughs> we'll sleep a couple hours on that flight and then like we'll just go to sleep when we get here and then we both just passed out. It was hard not to. Oh, it was such a good flight. Everything about it was so good. I feel so rested, so which is not what you want at 9.30 p.m. <laughs> and our flight attendant was just the best guy. Oh, the he was my food was ever. good. The bedding was nice. <laughs> like just everything about that experience. I would literally get on the plane, fly back to San Francisco, turn around and then come back here. I would literally go board it right now. <laughs> I know we're weird. I don't care. There's just something about business class. I think we get so many incredible opportunities in our life but business class, like the opportunity to do that is still so few and far between that it's super special every time we get to do it. All right, we are officially in the country. And we officially have somewhere to sleep tonight, or not sleep because we just woke up. We messaged a lady on Airbnb like as the flight was taking off because we didn't want to book something and then not make that flight and then have to cancel it. And so when we got here, we had no idea if she had messaged us back, but she said we could sleep at her place. Thankfully, it's 10.30.
some bad luck recently. The last two countries we've entered, Mexico and now here, I've been chosen for the random search and they've <laughs> gone through every single thing in my pack. Which I don't think they realize we live out of these things, so they're There's a lot of interesting things in there. 